Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the EDA or exploratory data analysis for time series. As we learned from the previous videos, uh, we were looking at the time series characteristics around the different time series uh, applications. Today, we're going to roam in further and take a look at the uh, different uh, approaches or preliminary analysis on the different time series. So, have a solid understanding before the different theoretical models. Here, we're going to take a quick look at the a few examples. First, uh, we are going to look at the data set, the chicken growth, and it has a, a trend. So here the emphasis is to detrend the time series by differentiating. Different and uh, differencing the first difference. Uh, let's take a look at the linear regression on the time so it can give you some hints on how this behaves. Let's note that library. Let's run this again. All right, let's take a look at the residues and the waste of time. So we still see some of the uh, variations, but that's the zero. It's a center around the zero. There may be a good indication of the detraining. For the first, for the second one, you just use the first uh, degree of the uh, difference and so it also give you a relatively um, a weak a stationary uh, uh, time series after the first difference. Let's take a look at the uh, correlations, auto correlations, and we can see. For the first one, it's a original data set, it has a long tail, and for the linear regression, the residues, it has a dramatic uh, drop. Then this, the signals are kind of like uh, noisy. After the first difference, and as we can see, it's randomly uh, distributed around the zero somewhere, but it also but it also shows some uh, uh, seasonal effect or some patterns that deserve some attention. Well, that's the data set, the chicken data set. Let's correct it. Okay. Well, we can also look at the other data set. There are different approaches. So the transformation definitely is a very good too. So um, you can uh, gain some more insights on data sets itself. Like this one, you oh, can pay attention to the, the unit at the, the, the y-axis. So it gave you some smooth effect in this case. Also, uh, it can give you the correlations uh, between uh, different legs, as we can see here. And here, uh, also, you can run the uh, linear regression first. And then
you can do a rough like a different in a different range you, you can have a different um, approaches or regression method find the line let's look at the uh, residues and the uh, auto regression on the residues as we can see there are still some signals um, hasn't been captured after the uh, linear regression well uh, there are the other applications and such as uh, to uh, extract the signal from a uh, very noisy data set and also uh, it can be the uh, smoothing uh, method uh, here it's worth mentioning it's just uh, average uh, movie average um, I can take a quick look uh, the other thing you can have the different kernels or the different uh, weight distributions to uh, uh, run on the signals uh, then you can have a different effect of the uh, smoothing uh, actually it is uh, a very preliminary, a preliminary uh, basic uh, prediction method um, so all the data set is quite representative of the different situations uh, in the industry or in the, some of the uh, science uh, studies and you may have the different uh, situations and also uh, it give you a very quick uh, intro to the decomposition uh, method uh, to to get to the uh, some of the uh, the trend and some of the season effect as well as uh, the residues of the uh, the random effect uh, from the uh, data set so here uh, uh, we just finish a, a very brief intro to the um, EDA uh, this is a, a good uh, a start before you engage uh, the different uh, modeling uh, method and uh, hopefully um, you can uh, get familiar uh, with the data set uh, more importantly uh, in the future you can decide which model is more suitable uh, for the different um, data set uh, with uh, different characteristics thank you for watching the video bye bye